Hey guys, Kirk here and thank you for joining me in this video. This video is going to be a short one in which I demonstrate how to create a layer stack. This is going to coincide with the landscape material that I'm creating, uh, our masked material in the series Build Worlds. Um, so I just want to create a separate video to showcase how to create a layer stack. So we're going to come to our content drawer, we're going to right click, go to materials and material function. We'll put KM layer stack stank stack like so. The KM part is just my name and convention. If you've been watching my videos, you already know this. Okay, so if we open our function up, um, essentially what a layer stack is is you're creating your landscape layers uh, for your landscape, but the separate. So essentially, you would landscape get a landscape layer blend node uh, you could add your layers in like so and put this into your landscape material and then you could paint various colors uh, based off the actual layer and then when you come to landscape mode you could select each of these layers and paint onto the landscape um, but the way i do it is my auto material just comes straight out from the last uh, blend node come straight out into the output of the landscape layer uh, so I don't use this node um, so what I prefer to do is just create a stack and to do that you just simply right click landscape uh, layer sample like so and if I just put one in here like so and then duplicate this a couple of times and this one could be two this one could be three uh, Let's do a three instead of a two, and this could be four. So this we would rename as one, and then that goes in there, like so. This one is two, so if we duplicate this one, and just call this two, and duplicate this one, and just call this three. I mean, you can see what's happening here. And then duplicate this and call it four. Um, and do this. Close these down. I'm trying to be as quick as possible. Um, and essentially, this is a layer stack. So, right now, these sample nodes are basically the layers for our landscape. Uh, but the power of this is when you bring this function into your landscape material, you can use this function for many things, uh, like you can procedurally spawn grass on a certain layer. So if you have a layer that's grass, um, you could procedurally spawn um, the grass onto a specific layer uh, by using the out pins outside of the function. Um, you can also, if I come to where my masks are, you can drag a mask in like so. Let's move this down, showcase this. Um, so you could duplicate this like so. And then this could be one mask. Um, so that would be zero. The set priority would be one. And you could simply drag that off into here. And when you get to it, like, you say this layer is my grass and I want to spawn grass, depending on this mask. I can also use this to spawn the grass onto just that specific mask. Or there's various reasons for doing this and this will be showcased throughout the series on my YouTube channel if you like um, when we do procedural grass and we start texturing with our mask uh, when you use a mask you will need to use a landscape uh, layer coordinates and in the mapping scale uh, you would need to put the size of your your overall resolution of your landscape so I know mine is 4033 and then you would just simply put that into your mask and then right now we have a layer here and we have a mask that is coinciding with that layer um, you could do all sorts of things like this could be the grass layer and this one is the um, uh, slope layer so I could essentially put in there a subtract like so and put this into here and put this into here so say this is my um, slope layer I could simply subtract the grass layer from the slope layer 
and that means my slope layer here will not spawn the grass layer on it so i'm subtracting this grass layer away from my slope layer if that makes sense and that is essentially how powerful a layer stack can be and it's not just a subtract you you know you could do many things with it um, but this will be showcased i just thought i'd do a short video to demonstrate how to create a layer mask in my video on my channel i already have these set up uh, ready to go uh, so i thought i'd just do separate videos to keep the bigger video shorter if you know what i mean um, so yeah and then you would simply hit apply and save uh, i hope this helps if it does then hit the like and the subscribe button uh, you're doing me a big favor uh, and i'll see you in the next video thank you